President Mohamed Buhari has returned to Abuja after a loaded week-long engagement at the 76th section of the United Nations General Assembly, ONGA, in New York, United States of America. The news agency of Nigeria, NAN reports, the Nigerian leader came back with a special request from the UN Secretary General, Antonio Guterres, to help in restoring socio-political order in troubled West African countries. Guterres, who commended Buhari for his leadership roles in Africa as well as stabilization of the West African sub-region, was speaking during an audience with the Nigerian leader at the sidelines of the 76th section of the ONGA. The UN scribe observed that Africa, especially West Africa, was generally seen as an ocean of stability and good governance, but was deeply concerned at recent reversal for fortune in democratic rule in some parts of the West Africa sub-region with corps overturning elected institutions. He therefore urged Buhari to continue to show leadership as he looked up to Nigeria to help stabilize the sub-region in terms of democracy and good governance. On democracy, Nigeria has failed and when you look at good governance, also you see that Nigeria is not good. Now, on issue of terrorism, the Secretary General commended the effort of Nigeria on this global phenomenon. Guterres assured the Nigerian leader of the UN's continued support in her effort to address the prevailing security and humanitarian challenges that had arisen, especially with the initially displaced persons. The President applauded Guterres for its global leadership and the success of the 76th section. On September 22nd, Buhari participated via a video message in the hybrid high-level event tagged Transformative Action for Nature and People on the margin of the U you know, UN General Assembly on GAR. He revealed that the federal government had initiated some specific actions to tackle and reverse the severe trend of biodiversity loss, which affects the whole world. Also in New York, on September 23rd, Buhari at the Food System Summit as part of the high-level meetings of the 76th section of ONGA reaffirmed the commitment of the federal government to attain national food security. He said that Nigeria had developed a food system focused development agenda that prioritizes healthy you know, healthy diets and affordable nutrition, inclusive, efficient, resilient, and sustainable, which will contribute to rebuilding our economy, create jobs, and spur growth across sectors while sustaining our ecosystems. The Nigerian leader, who addressed the 76th section of the UN Assembly on September 24, reached alarm over the recent trend of the unconstitutional takeover of power in some West African countries, urging world leaders to reject such illegal acts. According to Buhari, such unconstitutional takeovers sometimes in reaction to all literal changes of constitutions by some leaders should not be tolerated by the international community. The president warned that the democratic gains of the past decades in West Africa are now being eroded due to these negative trends. He urged G20 countries to extend its debt, 
suspension pardon suspension initiatives to all developing countries at least even though least developed countries also should be involved and small island developing states facing fiscal and liquidity challenges the president also called for outright debt cancellation for countries facing the most severe challenges occasioned by the COVID-19 pandemic. The speech also touched on the efforts of its administration on anti-corruption, debt suspension, international trade, UN Security Council reform, Palestinian questions, and Russia discrimination, among others. While still in New York, Buhari reiterated the determination of his administration to work on an ambiguous energy plan towards reducing the energy shortcomings by year 2030. He spoke in line with Nigeria's roles as global theme champion for the energy transition theme of the high-level dialogue on energy on the sidelines of the 76th United Nations General Assembly. The President said, Nigeria's commitment to a just transition is reflected in our ambiguous energy compacts which include the government's flagship projects to electrify 5 million households and 20 million people using decentralized solar energy solution. Also, on the sidelines of the 76th Onga, Buhari engaged some world leaders, including the President of Burundi, Ambassador Linda Thomas Greenfield, the permanent representative of America to the United Nations, Prime Minister of Netherlands, Mark Rutte, as well as Queen of the Netherlands, Her Majesty Maxima Zoregueta in bilateral talk. Nan also reports that the presidential aircraft which departed FJK International Airport in New York on Saturday at about 11.40 a.m. local time landed at the presidential wing of the Inam Azikwe International Airport Abuja on Sunday at 5.20 a.m. according to Nan report. What is your thought about this? What is your own reaction to this pain situation? We have heard about the return of President Muhammad Buhari to Abuja with special assignment from the world body. According to the news, President Muhammad Buhari has returned to Abuja after a loaded week-long engagement at the 76th section of the United Nations General Assembly ONGA in New York, United States of America. And we have heard about a series of protests that has happened during the 76th section in United Nations, both from the pro-Buhari agitators and the anti-Buhari agitators. Series of things have really happened of which the president has left without even addressing before coming to Nigeria, of which many people have been reacting. I would like you to drop your thoughts on this main development, but before we go, let's people's reactions and know their thoughts about this. Let's see what people have felt concerning the present situation of things in Nigeria. Guest reacted to this and said, May God punish Buhari supporters. What is your thought about this that guests have said that God will punish those that are supporting you know, Buhari? As we can see in the section that was going on in the United States, we have some pro Biafra, uh, some pro Buhari group, pardon, and some anti Buhari group. Some people are supporting President Muhammad Buhari despite the present situation of things and according to what guests have said if you are supporting president muhammad buhari god will surely punish you another guest here also said biafra will stand one biafra one love no matter what happens we want the breakup of this country referendum is the only way that is what people are saying people are still agitating for the breakup of this country because we can no longer open our eyes to see incessant killings series of adoptions happening here and there in this country. According to what guest have earlier said, that Buhari supporters go to surely punish you. And another guest here have also said that we have 
nothing in mind except Biafra. All we want is the actualization of Biafra and that is what we want. We would like you to drop your thoughts on this planning development. We would like to share your own reaction concerning this present situation. Don't forget that President Buhari has returned to Abuja with special assignments from the world body. Thank you guys for listening. Do subscribe to this channel.